So, uh, first of all, are there any questions from the audience, specific things you would like us to take a bit uh, deeper? Something like yes. Um, I'm interested to know if your overall marketing budgets have grown significantly in the last couple of years. Um, because that's something we always see that the really startups, especially, are not spending enough money on marketing. I know you guys are bigger companies, but have you seen a significant growth? I would just re repeat the question for everyone that uh, Nancy from, from Gartner was asking. Uh, have you seen a growth in marketing budgets in the last couple of years uh, compared to uh, to startups, basically? Yeah. No, for me, no. It's been the same and decreasing a little bit, and the only change was the mix, is how I reshuffle my budget. And I have a lot less events today and a lot more other stuff. I won't say digital, but digital with other other things. Yeah, to just reshuffle it. Yeah, and what I also chose to do is merge money in events into one big event instead of a few small ones. I wanted to put a lot of money on one thing and do it well rather than spreading it thin. Our budget hasn't grown, but no, it, overall, it hasn't grown. But the mix. If you talk about the mix and how the you know how you chop the pie, that has been changed. I can tell you. Um, and if we speak about investing a lot of money in big events, yes, we will go to Salesforce. We will go to SAP events. Like you know, we will. Um, however, you'll find more and more budget going towards other initiatives. Um, you know, moving to cloud. You have to go digital. Um, SMB, the transition from the upper level enterprise towards selling more to the SMB has changed the face of marketing budget. So this is, this is the change that uh, we are experiencing. Um, we also inv invested like, from a product perspective, we invested a lot of money on building apps, business apps. We move towards SaaS and apps, so we definitely invest more in um, in digital. But uh, the budget, the, the general budget, hasn't increased. Goals did increase, of course. So from a year to year, yeah, I'm like yeah, just finished uh, a, a very hard negotiation process for next year, but. Um, the goals are going higher and higher. The survey of CEOs worldwide, globally, of what was their top tech, technology enabled investment, and digital marketing was number one. Over e commerce, over customer uh, experience, over just, life. Just, just for, for the people that will see this on demand. So, again, there was a survey of CEOs of top. Worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. That they've invested more this year. They were asked. Of their number one investment um, priority. Investment yeah. Okay, for cool. Te technology enabled, digital marketing is number one. So digital marketing is the number one technology enabled field that CEOs worldwide will invest in the next five years. I'm in the wrong business. Okay. Well, I'm I'm, I'm partially in the right one. I'm you're, partially in the right one. You're I don't have zone. a product, but I'm in the zone. So they will invest in technologies and they will explain what to do with it. Uh, sounds good. I can I can live with that. Um, Okay, so <laughs> um, that was the whole panel. Yeah, do I, uh, of course. Um, did I mention that I know her for many years? Um, so for the last question for the panelists, um, what I really want you to share with the people here, some of the people here tomorrow morning need to face um, a, a less, uh, let's call it a more hostile organization to their digital marketing ideas and craziness. So I would like to ask you guys for one, um, one tip that you can give to the people here and the people who will see it uh, afterwards on demand. Um, what should they do tomorrow morning to help the companies to go through this digital transformation process that we, uh, that we said, that we've basically discussed here in, in, in length? One tip that they can do on their own does not require a lot of budget, does not require to change, you know, World, uh, to create a new world order in their marketing organization or in the mind of the CEO, 
What can they do to help their company to transform? I'll start with you. Surprise. No, I don't have it. <laughs> Mine would be, don't forget to get creative. In your next, I don't know, exhibition or your next uh, big activity you're rolling out, think of a, an interesting punch that you can bring into that activity, whether it's physical or digital. So a good example is this. So for my last exhibition in September, I decided that my theme for the exhibition is going to be proven and deployed. And my whole booth at the exhibition was my customers' um, systems that we've built for them. So it was only their products, and the whole concept of the booth was around proven and deployed digitally, mostly in the months before the event. So we created a stamp digitally, and we ran it through videos and through banners and and on the website, of course. And it was a theme that was uh, with us for a few months. And then at the event itself, we created these stamps. And we brought four different colors of ink, and we took one of the beautiful white walls of the booth and we asked all of those people who are wearing those nice jackets and look very sophisticated to take a stamp and start stamping the wall and do graffiti all over the the booth and they loved it and they wanted the photographer to take photos of them doing the stamp and people just like to have fun so don't forget the fun stuff and the creative stuff that you can bring into your normal marketing activities Um, my tip would be, you know, okay. So the first thing I did when I joined Click, um, and I was the first person, uh, hired to kind of like create a digital marketing for Click. So the first hire was creative content manager and a creative content manager, the responsibilities are two. One is videos. I'm a, I'm a believer of video. And the second is content, but small pieces of content. I'm not talking about these huge 10 pages, 15 pages of uh, business paper. No. So creative content, content manager was my first hire to the team. Why? Because people are looking for tangible um, examples. Uh, they don't want you to talk about product always, you know, sell, 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 sell. They want to see what value. And this is a transformation from talking marketing and uh, marketing, blah, 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 all these big words, innovative, downer. Um, give them short examples. Um, you now have five to seven seconds to attract someone's attention online. And that's it. If you, ha if you have, haven't succeeded to attract them within the five, seven, I don't know, 10 seconds, and I would be like very generous, they will go away. And, um, it's, it's, um, it's sad because it's, co it costs money. You talked about budgets and it costs money. So this investment uh, was proven to be a very good investment. And I'm speaking after uh, three years of experience uh, having a creative content person on the team. On a yearly basis, we create in between 20 to 25 videos, customer uh, videos. Uh, we have been able to get more and more referenceable customers over time uh, because um, people want to share their opinions, people want to share their successes, people want to talk. People actually want to talk. If people didn't want to talk, WhatsApp, yes, spam, WhatsApp, Facebook, LinkedIn would have never worked. They want uh, the stage to share their opinions, and uh, we found that it's working beautifully. 
um, on landing pages, PPC landing pages, if you have a short video, um, that will be a very good eye catcher uh, and a very good uh, lead converter. So this would be my tip to you. Um, think about amplification of content. Think about short bites of content. Think about videos. Um, and all these uh, nice pieces that you can share. Don't sell. Share your thoughts and uh, values. And that's my tip to you. Okay. Um, since I'm the last one, can I get two tips? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. So the first one, you know, I'm a great fan. Um, I'm a great fan of Nike. Just do it. You, you, uh, and you know, um, digital marketing is a journey. Uh, you got to start somewhere, and you're going to start if you haven't done it before, or your company isn't really into a digital DNA. Let's be very clear: you're going to hit obstacles. You're going to hit obstacles of people not knowing what you want to do. There's uncertainty. Sometimes there's misconceptions. Sometimes it's just plain ego. You know, job security. You got tons and tons of things. But before you take the first step, you got to. Honestly, and this is a bit of, you know, my wife's a coach, so I'm going to borrow one of hers. But you got to take a really long and hard look into yourself and figure out, are you up for this journey? Because it's a journey. And it, some of it will be great. You'll have the best route of your life. And some of it will be just a bit frustrating because you're going to hit walls. But if you truly believe that this is the right way, you'll win everyone over. And especially in Israel, we're, you know, we're the ultimate copycats. Someone opens a falafel stand and makes, you know, it's great. The next morning, someone else opens it right opposite him. So the minute something works, everybody will be will want to be over on on that train. Um, so that's one. So just to sum that one, just do it. Go on, figure out, do a quick win as we've talked about for in this panel. But go and just do it, and and be ready for for the fact you're going to hit walls. The two is content. Um, try to keep content consistency. I'll explain what I mean. Try to create a con, even if you do just something minor at the beginning, just to test the water. Create something which is a hook. Let's say um, an ebook. Take that ebook, then slice and dice it into blogs. Then those blogs publish up with a conversion optimization amount. Figure out how you take one element and repurpose it as much as you can across different channels. A, it's going to save you time. B, you're going to keep content. This. If someone reads a blog or a post or a post about something you've done and it connects to a larger element, it's easier for him to go and figure out what he wants to download. Don't go all over the place in what I call random acts of marketing in the in the area. Be very focused. And when you get to that content phase, you'll figure it out fairly easy what needs to be done. Try to create as much content as you can before your campaign goes up. Once it's up, it's all about measuring stuff. It's all about figuring out what needs to be tweaked and so on. You don't have a lot of time if you're pressured for time. Sorry, you don't have a lot of creativity if you're pressured for time to get those blogs up and running, those posts up and running every time. Try to create that type of, I don't know, 10, 10, 15 posts at a time and figure out your cadence. How, how far, what, what's your sort of upload strategy? Is it once a day, once a week, whatever? And figure out how much you need upfront. So it'll give you a peace of mind to write the next set while everything's keep uh, running in the, in the meantime. It's very important. Thank you. Okay, I would like to uh, thank the panelists that spend the time in sharing their uh, knowledge. I'd like to thank Bright Info that spent the time and got us all drunk. Uh, and I'd like to thank you guys that even though there was this horrible storm and trees were falling and everything, uh, you came to, to be a part of it. Um, B2B Talks is basically everywhere. You have a LinkedIn group, you have a website. If you search for B2B Talks on Google, there's even a Flipboard magazine. So if you search for B2B Talks with a hashtag, you'll see content from the event, but also a lot of uh, curated content that we're just uploading all the time. And we'll hopefully meet all of you again. We're, our next event is at the end of February. We'll send you all an email with details as soon as the topic will be finalized. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you a lot.